I've been traveling around the world for the last 20 years, creating some of the greatest illusions ever seen on stage. Now, the stage is your backyard. I'm Murray, and this is Dirt to Dreams. You know, I started magic when I was like seven years old, and I got a magic kit when I was just a kid. And usually, with most children, uh, it's a toy. And for me, it became my career. You know, when you think of Vegas, you think of neon lights, a lot of partying, a lot of excitement, and you know, it's all very exciting, especially in the world I live in, which is being a performer. But you know, when I'm off, I really love to relax and work on my own yard, and also, um, you know, just kind of landscape and come up with these really creative ideas that I can't do on stage and do in your backyard. Hi, my name is Emily Burton. I live in Las Vegas. I bought a house a couple years ago. I really love my house. But unfortunately, in the backyard is crap. And so what I'd really like is to be able to come home and be able to sit outside and have a cup of tea in a nice backyard. I don't have that. Great. Murray, right, here's my yard. This is the yard. Yeah. I moved in, it was all construction gravel, nothing. All right. Just pretty much how it is now, except my mom, who's one of my best friends in my whole life, she gave me trees. This is so. one of her first presents she gave you uh, for your new house. Yeah, exactly. And this is one. This is the first house you've ever had, right? Mm -hmm. This is so yeah, it's a big deal. It. I can do anything I want with this yard. Sure. So me and my team can come in as long as I protect the watermelons. Yes, as long as you don't hurt the watermelons. Right, and protect your mom's tree, we can do whatever we want this yard. Deal. All right, thanks. Awesome. Now you gotta get out of here in three days. Get okay. Can't okay. Be, can't okay. Blow. Get away. Three days? My very good friend Katie's getting married. I promised her we'd have a bridal shower at my house. Because I was like, oh yeah, I'll have a new yard and it'll be awesome. And honestly, I don't know if it's going to get done in time. And there's a lot to get done. I mean, I'm looking at this yard and there's nothing here. You know, I'm just trying to keep Murray focused and trying to keep us on a timeline. Because sometimes Murray focuses on one particular thing and spends extra time and he wants everything to be perfect. And I want it to be perfect too, but we got to keep on that deadline. All right, guys, this is the yard we're going to be working on. We have 72 hours to get this yard from this dirt into somebody's dreams. You know, day one, I laid out all the plans and the design, what we wanted. But you know what? The scary thing is, we only have three days to do this. You know, we got a team of five to ten people, and we're going to try to make it happen. But there's a lot of work to do in a very short amount of time. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Go. You know, day one was really exciting because everyone was starting on their projects. We started stuck in the wall, we moved the garden. She had the flower bed over there, and so we wanted to move it over and make sure that they were all really well taken care of. So I had to uproot every single one of them, carefully put it in a wheelbarrow, and then put it back in. Now I'm going to start working on flowers in the rest of the yard. And of course, we had all the trees delivered, and we were starting to lay out where the trees would go. So it was really neat to see at the end of day one that this design was really starting to come around. Murray called me uh, to build uh, some bird cages and uh, a shed for Emily's backyard. So I actually had to make additions to it and make it pretty much three times as big as it was. So that was uh, kind of a challenge to fit everything back together in a time crunch. Hey man, this thing is absolutely huge. Like, this is what you wanted, right? I know, but we gotta get it to the gate. There's a gate in the side. You didn't say anything about a gate. Really? Yeah. All right. All right, we're straight now. Right. I don't think we're gonna get through that gate. We gotta make a decision. Yeah, yeah. We need to make a decision up or okay. down, though. Sean's, Sean's holding this whole thing over here. <laughs> All right, guys, you know what? This isn't gonna work. We're not, it's not gonna fit through the gate. It's not gonna, I mean, we've tried this. So now, unfortunately, as you know, the shed's not gonna fit on the side. We just tried that. So we went to our last resort, and unfortunately, it's gonna cost us more money because we need a crane to lift the shed all the way over the, uh, the roof of the house. So that's where we're at now, so let's, uh, let's hope it works.
stopped right now, guys. Yeah, that'll be an issue. But then our stucco, we had an issue because it started to rain. And with rain and stucco, those two don't go together. Mm -hmm. We had the gravel delivered. That came in nicely. We weren't done even half of that wall, you know, by day two. So it was a huge concern for us. They don't know it, but I'm the brains behind the whole operation. So I'll have the final say on everything. We do things sure? together yeah. and uh, sure. we work as a pretty good team, I guess. A few little obstacles. It's a kind of a small backyard to work with, but we want to make it look really lush. So we're going to bring in a lot of plants. Uh, when it's all finished, it's going to look fantastic. All right, so here we are uh, with the grass. This is the one of the last things we need to put down, but we still have a bunch of things to do. Uh, we just painted the back wall, and uh, it still needs time to dry, and it looks like it's starting to rain again. Hey guys, we got two hours left. We got uh, 120 minutes, so get going, guys. Get those tables together. We need a barbecue together. We need a bunch of stuff, all right? We got like 120 minutes. Emily will be here. It's finally time, uh, Emily and she brought her lovely mother with her for the reveal. I'm really excited because it took 72 hours through the yard. We were battling the rain with paint not drying and a bunch of other stuff, but we're here. You know what, it's raining a bit, but the reveal's gonna happen no matter what, we work too hard. They're here, we're gonna show them. Ladies, come on, let's check it out. Okay. Let's do it. All right, there you go. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. <laughs> What do you think? Oh my gosh! This is my yard. No! It is your living room. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my so I want to take you for the tour around your yard, just because we did a lot of things. You may see some old things changed around. Um, so first of all, Emily, I knew you were really worried about your garden, so that was the first thing we changed over. Emily was thrilled we found a third watermelon in her brand new garden. Added seven koi fish to her new pond. Created three bird cages for her hanging flowers. A fireplace and woodshed with storage for chairs, a hammock for her days off. And as a surprise, we had Tarzan and his chimp drop by. <laughs> so what do you think so far, good? That's amazing. Oh, you, you, you like it? Instead of throwing out her old barbecue, we kept it and turned it into a planter, painting it her favorite colors, green and purple. And we replaced it with a brand new barbecue direct from us at Dirt to Dreams. There you go, see? There you go. So oh, you're very welcome. Better than what I could have even, <laughs> even dreamed of. Good. You know, we made an amazing transformation on Emily's backyard. It's absolutely unbelievable how it went from nothing to something. Now I have to get out of here, but we'll see you next time on Dirt to Dreams.